Hello sports fan, this is Steven Hill for JustMyPicks.com and I'm bringing you a special NFL bulletin. I'm going to be covering and breaking down Colin Kaepernick's new contract. You're looking at it from the outside, looking in, it looks like a lot of money, which it really is. You're looking at about six years, $110 million. You're looking at $61 million of that guaranteed. You're looking at the weapons that the 49ers possess and the offensive schemes in which they have. You look at the defensive side of the ball and you look and say, what was missing from this team? You know, a little bit of offense here and there, a little bit of defense here and there. This team could have been back in the Super Bowl. You know, looking at Colin Kaepernick, looking at his skill set, you're looking at the legs, he obviously has the speed that he showed time and time again that he can get the job done. You're looking at all of his weapons on offense, you're looking at Michael Crabtree, Anquan Bolton, now with the new uh, uh, wide receiver Stevie Johnson onto the team, Frank Gore, you're looking at possibly having Marcus Latimer there, you're looking at uh, Vernon Davis at the tight end position, you have a plethora of weapons now to use. Now, when you're looking at the San Francisco 49ers, will they still be that run-the-ball team or will they transition into Colin Kaepernick's team as far as passing goes? Because he does have this huge contract, a lot of people are going to hate. A lot of people are going to try to say he has to earn this contract in, in several ways, which he does. And you look at what he's done in the past. You look at the Super Bowl appearance, even though it was a loss against the Ravens. You also look at last year's NFC Championship game performance against the Seahawks. It wasn't that thrilling, but you look Looking at him having in them in the title game for the NFC Championship, a game away from the Super Bowl yet again. That game could have swayed either way in going to the San Francisco 49ers or it could have went the way it actually went to the Seahawks. Now, a lot of people are killing the 49ers on this. In actuality, this contract is really a three-year deal because in years four, five, and six, you look at the San Francisco 49ers being able to cut bait with this contract and not be that penalized from this. <clears throat> I say that because this contract is heavily incentive based. You look at the escalators and de escalators in the fine print of this contract after breaking down something like 64 pages, something like of his contract. I saw the simple things, and in, in this contract was simply incentive based. So Colin Kaepernick may not even make all of that money. 61 million of that is guaranteed that he's promised to make, but there's no guarantee he's going to make the full 110 million dollars of this contract. So Colin Kaepernick's a young guy. He's got at least six to ten more years in him. So this was not like the 49ers giving a, a 40 year old a, quarter, a quarterback a contract like this. No, he's young. He's prime in his um, athletic youth. So uh, to grade this contract, I give it about a B plus, if that, because he's not getting paid up there with the elite, but his guarantees up there with the elite quarterbacks. He has Joe Flacco to thank for this contract. Being overpaid, which Joe Flacco really was, Colin Kaepernick was a benefit of that, you know, and the 49ers didn't want to take a chance in him leaving in the offseason, so they got a deal done. So, looking at the grand scheme of things, the San Francisco 49ers are a powerhouse for the years to come. This contract does lock up a lot of things that they were trying to do on offense but it also hurts the defense a little bit for years we've seen the san francisco 49ers break that bread break that bank on the defensive side of the ball but now when you lock up an offensive player like colin kaepernick with that kind of money that limits everything you want to do as far as cap and budgeting goes because the san francisco 49ers last year and last couple of years were in the last five percentage points of who actually pays their quarterbacks in the NFL. Now you look at they're going to skyrocket up to one of the top 10, top 15 teams in the NFL that pays their quarterback. So this will have a, long, a long lasting effect on that defense because you have to look at they have to pay so many other players now and they have to pinch that pocketbook just slightly because they're not going to pay that luxury tax. Now it looks like the 49ers, Colin Kaepernick has something to prove. If he does not prove that he is worthy of this contract, like I said before, years 4, 5, and 6, the 49ers are pretty uh, safe as far as cutting him or trading him and stuff like that. So I want to know what you guys feel. Do you feel like Colin Kaepernick's contract is well-deserved? Do you feel like it was too much or do you feel like it was too little? Uh, let me know, sports fans. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to check me out at JustMyPicks.com each and every day for all the breaking news. Also, follow me on Twitter at JustMyPicksTV. Also, subscribe to this YouTube channel, YouTube backslash Just My Picks TV, for all the breaking news, all the debates, and all the great videos. Thank you very much. Please share our video in your sports group so we can have all the news in your sports group too. Thank you very much.